Hello, and thank you for joining me today. We're going to go over how to export all of your recipes from your Genesis or food processor database using Export. To do this, click Export. Click New. And then when this opens up, check your export file destination. I'm going to go ahead and change this so it says Recipe Export. And then click open. That'll rewrite the path name. Go over here and select recipe. And then we have three options here. Analysis. This will give you the nutrient breakdown per serving for the recipes, the nutrients that you've selected. The label rounded analysis will include analysis for nutrients that appear on the nutrition facts and then an image of the nutrition facts. And then this will show the analysis for the recipe and the ingredients used in the recipe. The selected fields are what the program is going to analyze for. So I'm going to select a couple nutrients here. You see that name and primary key are already selected. But I'm going to select calories and calories from fat. You do this by clicking on the nutrient and selecting add. I'm going to select carbohydrates and then a couple more here, maybe um, fat. And I think I will select, let's say copper and iron and gram weight. So when I have all of these selected, I'm going to click OK, and they will appear here. Selection criteria. Again, we are selecting all records to export, so I'm not going to adjust these at all right here. And then in format options, I want to show you, I want to write field headings to the first row, which means the first row will show the name. It'll show the name of the column. So it'll show name, primary key, calories, etc. You know, I'll look over here, make sure this is okay. And if it's how I want it, I will click execute. Okay, so depending on how much you have, this might take a while. We're finished and I'm going to go ahead and open up the text file of this. So you can see there's the name, the primary key, the calories, calories from fat, etc., and the analysis for those nutrients. And you can take this because it's a tab delimited file. You can easily take this, copy it and open up Excel and paste it right into Excel. It's easy as that. And that is the end of our tutorial. Thank you.